Ten-year note treasury yields pushed lower again today. It's becoming a little bit of a trend here. We've seen yields moving lower. Today, we got back below 340. We actually got down to as low as 334, the lowest since uh, April 6th when 10-year when note yields were down around 324. So we are still not that low, but we are trending lower and have been moving last couple of sessions. We've seen some aggressive moves lower. Despite what we got from the Fed today, the Federal Reserve raised rates 25 basis points today. Kind of lean towards not raising them uh, as aggressively or at all at the next meeting, but clearly they're going to leave that open to discussion. They did eliminate and change some of the language in their meeting, which hinted towards future rate hikes. But again, the federal uh, Fed chairman talked about waiting and watching. He does believe the banking sector is uh, strong and resilient. He also said that he doesn't expect a recession, that he does expect growth to come back. So it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out. Fed fund futures right now are pricing in a whopping 0% chance of any future rate hikes today, actually looking at pricing in some rate cuts as we head towards year end. But a lot of time between then and now. And again, the Fed raised rates today and Treasury yields were lower. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com. And while volatility does typically decline after a big event, like such, say, an FOMC meeting, we did not see much of a decline today in vol, given the fact that uh, economic uncertainty remains very high, bank uh, issues remain very much re very relevant, and the central bank just kind of maybe changed their policy. We don't know that. We won't know that until the June meeting and July meeting coming after. But clearly, they are looking at possibly making a pivot here. So volatility remained relatively unchanged after the Fed meeting. Lastly, let's talk about what we have later this week. Well, tomorrow is Thursday, which means we get our in-the-moment look at the job market with the claims number. Claims have remained uh, relatively high versus where the Fed would like them. Friday brings us the non-bond payroll number. And after today's ADP, which came in at up 296,000, you might think that the non-bond payroll number might be higher. Expectations right now are hovering at around up 180,000 new jobs. So midweek, 10-year note yields continue pushing lower today, back below 340 ahead of tomorrow's claims number and Friday's non-farm payroll.